What's up all you Venomized dudes and dudettes, Toy Shiz here, and today I got a really quick review for you. We're going to be looking at the brand new Marvel Legends Venom Wave Monster Venom Build-A-Figure. I absolutely love this figure. I think it's a fantastic sculpt. I think it's absolutely one of my favorite Venoms that they have created in a very long time. And if you didn't know, this Venom is actually based on the Mac Gargan, former Scorpion, the Spider-Man villain, when he took over the symbiote suit. So it's one of those things where it's not exactly Eddie Brock Venom, but dang it all, he does look fantastic. The white spider, the really cool, it's a black pearlescent, almost purplish, bluish hue kind of thing to it. It's, it's a fantastic coloring. It stands out so well. And that face sculpt, man, that is just the best. If I could have only asked for one other thing, it would be that it had an articulated job, but I, I, it's a fantastic Venom figure. It's so, so cool. He's big, he's bulky, he's massive, and he's a heavy figure. It's almost like Toy Biz back in the day, I'm telling you. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this figure. Now, the paint on the white spider symbol is fantastic. Mine has no nicks, no scrapes, no nothing. It's perfectly painted. It goes in all the nooks and crevices of the sculpt. Look at the face sculpt on this thing. The tongue is straight out of the comic itself. Just the whipping nature of it. All it goes all the way around. Look at the white spider symbol there. And I love these rubbery wild tendrils that are coming off the suit, making it look alive, giving it this energy that really makes the figure just pop that much more. This is a grand designed figure. I am totally impressed, Hezbro. It's fantastic. The head's uh, on a ball joint. It looks up that much, which is really great when you're going to get that angry, just energized look that Venom likes. And like I said, there's no jaw or tongue action, unfortunately, but he does have a nice ab crunch and he bends down that nice. It, 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 it's cool because it gives comic book physiques to the head that is on the shoulders. It's like this big bulky neck on these big bulky shoulders. His arm goes up about that much, rotates, of course, 360. He's got bicep swivel. He has a little bit of a, it looks like a double jointed elbow, but it's just a really deep joint. Mine are a little bit stiff, so you might want to just be careful. This is one figure that you definitely don't want to break. But as you can see, it goes at about that much. So he does have nice articulation in the arms. And of course, the hands are on a swivel. They go up, back, left, right, turn, all that good stuff. He's got a nice waist rotation. And his legs go out about that much. And they go back about that much. And they go out that much. He does have a, a calf swivel. I mean, it's just, it's, it's perfect amount of articulation for Venom. He has really, really tight double jointed knees, which is really, really good, especially when you get those, you know, the posing people out there. And of course, his feet are on a ball joint ankle rocker. If you're a big posable person, this is definitely going to be the figure for you. You can get him in all kinds of different poses with Spider-Man. So pick this figure up. Definitely. Here's a little bit of a size comparison for you. We have the poison figure, Spider-Ham, and of course, Monster Venom. Monster Venom clocks in at just over about seven and a half, almost eight inches. Spider Ham, he looks really good. Definitely see the size of the figure. He's massive. And of course, next to Poison, he's equally massive. It's a it's a nice dichotomy of size that you're getting with Marvel Legends recently. I'd love to have a massive, massive Monster Venom if we really wanted to go that route, but hey, I'll take what I can get, and I'm really enjoying this figure. So I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope this helps with your decision on whether to grab this or not. If you like this video, hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. Hit me up on Instagram, and feel free to email me anytime, toyshiz at gmail.com. I will talk to you guys all soon. Adios.